Hey what's going on guys my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Aura and we're going to do a basic tutorial on how to get started with Aura. One of the things I hate personally is having a hard time getting started. What I like to do is just get started and then go from there for the most advanced features. So today is the basic tutorial. So this is the main, that main site for Aura. The reason I'm showing you this is because I want to show you they actually have even a free version that you can use. So it's pretty cool to sign up really quick if you guys want to check it out. From there you can just move on up if you need more users and more advanced features. Okay. So let's head over to my dashboard and this is what you're going to see basically when you get started. So right now we're going to create a brand new there you go, project from there. So this is a little project that we can add. And the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because this is what you would have to do to get started. And what you can do to start is add a template. And the first template that we have, and that's the most basic template, is the simple pipeline. What is a pipeline? That means that you have to do, you have to go from left to right. So everything that you add, it, it means that you got to go from left to right until you finish what your task is. Also, there's a to-do list. A to-do list would be, hey, I'm, I'm going to open a brand new business and I need to-do list. I'm going to go to for shopping and I need to-do list. Uh, and there's also the simple board. It's just for keeping track. There's also more advanced templates like marketing templates, software templates, and even business templates. So what we're going to do right now is the basic pipeline template. Okay, let's select that one. Use this template and we're going to name our template. In this case, I'm going to just do like uh, open business, all right? We can also change the icon to something more of our liking or the brand of the business. Is it going to be private or is it going to be public? What does this mean? It's only going to be private just for you and the users you invite. Or is it going to be public for anyone that can log in to that URL and they can see everything? In this case, it's going to be private, created in this organization, SAS Master, which is this channel. And we can also create a folder, but we're going to create it right here in the main folder. And you can see it the three tabs. They look kind of dull, but we're going to change that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is change what it says and what the color is. So for example, is it to do is we're going to put this in red. Why red? Because for me personally, I think it's like, hey, emergency, you need to do this and you got to do it from there. We're going to change this to yellow and we're gonna add a uh, working on working on it okay and we're gonna okay yellow set save and we're gonna change this to green to let me know that it's done okay change this to green and it's done so okay so just like an example i said this is opening a business so what to do we're going to task is by desk enter. And what else we got to do? Paint wall. Mm, pay plumber. And just etc. etc. whatever you have to do. And let's just say right now we're working on, hmm, we're working on, let's just say, let me software. For business okay we're integrating integrating that right now example right and done would be paid rent and painted outside and those tasks are are done boom all right so once we go from here we can also assign who these tasks are for in my case I'm going to assign it to me. You can add a member. If you have more users, you can assign it to them. In this case, I'm just going to assign it to me that quick. And for example, by desk, we can add comments down there. Whoa, what are comments for? Well, this is just to help you get everything more coordinated. Let's just say, for example, hey, this is a by desk. So I went, I like desk from Ikea. And it was model blah, blah 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 that number send so it's just like a little reminder we can also add you know what i like something else uh don't buy it over here because i hate that guy or just whatever you want to leave as a comment you can see there's one comment right here so that reminds me that i gotta check it out but apart from this we can also add tags add tags so for example we can add easy is that another tag 
card. Another tag is uh, need help. And this could be this could be whatever you want to get more organized. Whatever makes it easier for you is what you gotta use. So for example, I added three tags right here. Obviously, I'm not gonna use them all. So so for example, painting for me would be hard. Okay, and I need help. So that's that's reminding me that I need to contract someone or a helper to do this task. And this is gonna work however you use it. And so for example, if I got a pay plumber, it's I'm gonna put this as attack for urgent. You know what? Okay, leave that urgent. So we got the urgent tag right there. We can add tags to anyone we want. And we can also set a date for this. So for example, pay the plumber. We're gonna set that date to Monday. Set date, all right? So we got a set date, a reminder for Monday. You can see that right there. We got Monday now to set. And if we want, we can be we can drag these manually. You can see this right here. So working on pl the plumber's working, and we gotta pay the plumber, all right? But we can also do this manually. If we want, we click on it and we can set it wherever we want. We can change it back to do list. Okay. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do. It's super easy to get started. We can even drag these also in sections we want. We can create a new one. We can create a new one that we want to do, for example. If we want to do one for payments inside of this one, we can do another one and we can switch it over here because what we want to do is a flow, a pipeline. That's why I moved it on the left. So I want to keep done as the end one, as a finished one. And you can see we got we got those done. So, for example, you know what? I already paid the plumber. Done. Boom. Send it to done list. Now, if I wanted to do if I wanted to work on a couple of them at the same time, we just hit the shift button. You can see how that turned blue. And we can add tags, you can see right here, tags, assign, move, due date, and archive with the shift button to select a couple of them. Super easy to get started. I hope you guys feel this as easy as I think it is because it, it has helped me a lot with my business. I got more flows over here that I've been working on, my personal flows, my business flows, my YouTube channel flows, and it just helps me out. Now, if you wanna check and change a little bit of how the interface looks, we can do this right here. You can create the options over here. Go to the options. Oh, not here. So over here, options. And we're gonna go to appearance. We can change the appearance of our aura looking. So if it looks too dull for you, we can go dark. If you like dark, if you like bold, warm, blue, just whatever feels best. Um, you can see my interface is on the top. My aura main dashboard is on top. We can change it to the left if we want. You can see it change to the left. And we can keep it on the top. I like it more on the top because it leaves me more space for my tabs. That's my liking. It's personal. That's all. Aesthetics, redeemable. And we got also slim, wide, and normal. If you feel that you want to keep it a little bit more tight, let's go for slim. Super, super easy. Okay, let's close this. And you can see how easy to, it is to get started with Aura. This is the main reason of this tutorial. I want you guys to feel comfortable on what you're using. And from there on, you just go to advanced. All right, guys, stay tuned because there are going to be more tutorials on more advanced features. Thanks for watching. My name is George, and this is SAS Master. See you guys later.